What's up, Facebook? So according to certain people online nowadays, I've been labeled a predator. Me and my brand is a predator to Facebook and the community. Um, they're saying that we've taken advantage of some poor girl. Um, well, let me tell you my side of the story. So my guys went to this woman's house. She clearly signed off all her documentations for her move. She signed away all her insurance, everything, which is no big deal. I don't even care about that. If she would have called me nicely and said, hey, you guys messed up, is something you could do, I would probably have worked with her. However, what happened was I get a phone call from her dad and her dad was like screaming at me, like seriously, like snapping out, like calling me all kinds of names, cursing, threatening me, telling me someone in their family is a police officer, all kinds of nonsense. Like, I'm not really scared. You could call me and threaten me all you want. I'm not gonna be scared of you. This is what happened. The guy starts trying to berate me. So we have a little argument on the phone. I was already being harassed and screamed at first. I couldn't even really speak. So I just kind of brushed it off and the guy disappeared. 10 minutes later, I get a phone call from the brother. And again, he starts threatening me how if I don't give them money, they're gonna threaten me and, and sue me and sm try and smash me on social media. To follow up, I am just gonna play a simple recording of the phone conversation with the brother because I don't have the actual conversation with the father, which I should have, um, but I couldn't get it recorded fast enough. If you're not going to reimburse us by any, with anything, there's going to be a problem. What's the we're problem? Going to take you to court. We're going what, to take you to court. What's the problem going to be? I'm, I'm telling you right now. Tell me. Threat. There's going to be you going to court. That's fine. Because you damaged our Th stuff. That's fine. I beat every case like this with my paperwork. You're not going to win. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. I don't even care. You know what? I don't even care if we win or lose. Because I'm going on social media and I'm that's telling fine. them about the awful experience that we had with your company. That's, then you're never gonna get business again. That's fine. So Marlboro, that's fine. So you're gonna threaten me on you're gonna threaten me on social media and that's that's totally fine. That's 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 totally fine. You could post your reviews, you could badmouth me and you could bash me and I'll just call my lawyers and we'll and we'll have it all and we'll have it all rashed out through my lawyers. That's fine. I'm sure it's not the first. Plus, on this plus this phone call is being recorded, so I will take all this. I will take all this information that you're saying, and I will post it right back up on Facebook, with all my answers and all my conclusions. Yeah, that's fine. Listen, if you this is this is a this, no, I have a warehouse. Listen, you want to come to my warehouse and talk about it? You're more than welcome. I'll show you the paperwork. I'll show you what she signed. How many times do you get this phone call? Not many. Very, very, very rarely. That's... Man, that's... I, I, I apologize. I apologize. Ap listen. I, I, no, I don't really get sued that much, man. I really apologize for your troubles, but to be honest with you, we offer the different levels... No, not really, because look, we... we, we, we we offer different level. We offer different levels of service for this reason, because some people want to spend the money and some people don't want to spend the money. So we offer budget moving. If you pick, if you took a budget, if you take a budget moving package, that's you're going to get a budget moving service. If she chose to spend a few extra dollars, have the stuff done the right way, have the guys take their time, then there wouldn't have been any issues later on. That's fine. You could go ahead. No, I, I, it's totally cool, man. To it, yeah. yeah, that's this fine. Is why you guys aren't as big as and then I got an email saying that my guys were 15 minutes late. And if you look at this picture here, I could show you that they were four minutes early. And we still finished the move in under four hours complete and the guys forgot the brackets to the mirrors on the dresser so after work after they clocked out after they paid for the move they came back to the warehouse dropped off the truck got in their own vehicle went back to the original location picked up the mirror pieces went to the house assessed the damage brought me pictures of the damage and reinstalled the mirror pieces and explained to them clearly what they signed and showed them the documentation that we had i just wanted you guys to see the truth or at least my version of the truth and you guys could decide who's you know who's doing what i mean obviously i'm being professional um 
and it is what it is. I mean, I'm here. The girl really never called me. I got phone calls from family members screaming and yelling. Had I gotten a proper phone call, I would have done the proper thing, just like I would for any of y'all. If you need a mover, call me, Tommy, Van with the Man. I won't let you down. Just don't act like a clown.